Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week we venture to somewhere a little more exotic to find the answer to this question. Hi, it's Marie from Harrogate and um, my question is about tasers, the tasers which are used for crowd control and stunning criminals. If you had a taser and you tasered an elephant, would you actually live to tell the tale? How strong are these things? I must say I've never met a stunning criminal. But our answer comes from a real elephant catcher in Africa, Doe Grobler. Now, he was standing on the top of a sand dune in the wilds of Mozambique when he gave this answer, so the audio quality was a little bit too rugged to be broadcast. But here's what he had to say. Elephants do not like any electric shocks, and they will usually react quite severely to them. Doe and his team actually use electric fencing in a number of wildlife reserves in Africa, and the electric fencing running around an enclosure is generally in the region of nine to 12,000 volts, whereas a stun gun will jettison about 50,000 volts. Now, Doe's team will teach an elephant about an electric shock by putting it in a small pen that's about two acres in size, and they'll keep it in there for about 24 to 48 hours. And when they've been in contact with an electric fence in that situation, they will never touch an electric fence again, poor elephant. But his team also use electric prodders to move elephants into a truck to transport them. I guess it's all for a good cause in the end. But a taser certainly wouldn't floor an elephant, but it might scare it. And in most cases, the elephant would try to move away from the stun gun, but uh, I wouldn't want to be there if the elephant decided to take some revenge. On our forum, Chemistry for Me said that animal rights people would be after you if you were doing this. And Don once said it might be a better idea to pick on a mouse rather than an elephant. (laughs) And it seems we've got another animal to take better care of in next week's question. Hello, this is Alvin Raj from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Why is chocolate poisonous for dogs? How is it that something as lovely as chocolate can be bad? Let us know what you think next week by emailing chris at thenakedscientist.com or by writing your answers on the forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.